Hey, it's Chris from The Chris Stefanik Show, where we dive into how to live a more joyful life every day in your everyday life, the kind of life that God dreams of for you. Check it out. I, I recently was at a beautiful conference, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I took a little video of, of kids just praising God, and it right. was in a more of a contemporary, uh, charismatic type of prayer, uh, right. the, the type of music. It wasn't even at a liturgy, right. that this clip. I got, well, it got, you know, probably, here's, here's my focus on the negativity. It got 60,000 views on Twitter and tons <laughs> right. of thumbs up. But I'm, I'm, of course, paying attention to the 50 people. Yes, yeah. But there was a pile on of, that's not Gregorian chant. That's oh, pagan. Yeah. That's pure emotionalism. And, and all right. they could see was why it was wrong. Right. Stop these kids immediately from, right. from what they're doing. And yeah. there's, a, there's an interior church division there that is. that I think is growing. It is. I, I'm I'm having to respond to things I never had to as a grown up in Generation John Paul II and like what what the heck is going on? Right. And it's it feels poisonous. It is. Yeah, speak into that. I, I think bit. that part of it has to do with um, what you're seeing is it's true that the church has some problems. I mean, obviously the whole oh, yeah. video scandal. Oh, yeah. um, you know, we're seeing all sorts of difficulties, bishops saying things that you're, you know are contrary to what the church oh, has yeah. always taught. So we're seeing those kinds of things um, being said. And so the, the, the problem is, is that there's two things that I'm starting to notice is one is that people are becoming focused on picking out all the error. Okay, you might know what's wrong, doesn't mean you know what's right. Mm. And this is something that you see mm. a lot of times is that people will um, and, and you actually see this, you know, seminarians will say, well, I know that they taught me this about Scripture, that it's not inspired and that it's not this and it's not that in the seminary, so I know that that's not true. That's true, but you may not know exactly what the actual definition of inspiration is. So I mm. find that there's a lot of imprecision in the criticisms, and so a lot of times they're, they're negative. Oh, everything is heresy. Everything's heresy, so everything's did, did, negative. Have you looked at the definition uh, of the word before you use it? You yeah, know? well, that's it. Or, or, and, or, or the other thing is that they'll do is, is they'll criticize something because they come off looking as intelligent in doing so, and there, there's a lack of precision mm. or um, a lack of detachment or relationship to it. But the other thing that I've seen is it's detaching their, them from the love of the church itself. The church is the bride of Christ. Mm. It's one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. Mm. It's holy. Mm. It's doctrine's holy. It sanctifies people. There's always going to be people in the church that are going to be seeking holiness, and God's going to be sanctifying them, etc. So what's happening it's is... It's demonic to start it, hating the church. It, that's what you're starting to see. People yeah. are starting to have a hatred for the church or even for the for the papacy or the episcopate or the priesthood or whatever the case is. They're, they're starting to have this real negative attitude, which is exactly what the demons want. They want you to have a hatred for the church. They don't care what or what aspect. They want you to have a hatred for the papacy or for the for the episcopate or what have. They want you to hating these things because that way, um, if you have a hatred for them, mm. you're less likely to A, to be praying for them, which is what we really need to be doing. But the other part of it is, is that you're not going to have a true love for them. You're going to not develop that virtue of filial devotion to the office of the papacy or to the office of the episcopate or just a, a, a love for the church, which is the bride of Christ. It's Christ. It's the mystical body of Christ. They know that if they can start fostering that, that hatred for it or that distaste for it or looking at it in a negative way all the time, it's going to cloud your judgment about the good that's actually there. It really helps to put the language of vice around this. It does, yeah. Around being a negative person. Yes. Uh, because it, it, it is, it's important to see things that are wrong, that are going on. Yeah, you have to see it. When it becomes a vice, it becomes all you see. That's the focus. That's right. Uh, we see that in the church. We see that in society at large. There's yeah. Racism is real. Uh, uh, mistreatment of women is real. All these things yeah. are real. But we've seen in, in recent years uh, movements of people who would reduce the entirety of the American experience to nothing but that. That's correct, yeah. And if that's true, the logical conclusion is burn it down. That's right. Yeah, that's right throw away the Declaration of Independence, start right. over, and start a civil war, frankly. I mean, That's this, right. is, this is the end goal of the evil one, is total destruction. That's right. To it, if he can get you to, for example, if he can get you to hate um, the papists or the, hate the Pope, then eventually he can separate you from it, right? By yeah. becoming state of a contest, which is a problem among certain kind of traditions. You know, he can get you to the point where you, you're, you're basically are going to have to start denying Catholic principle in the end, and that's one of the, yeah. the real problems. But you're right in the sense of, and that's, I think that's one of the most corrosive forces. There's two things that I see. There's one is the corrosive force of, like you said, you, there's in the general stream news media, mainstream news media, 
there's this constant focus on the negativity. Well, that's just, that's diabolic in the end because it's just going to get everybody focused on that. Yeah. The other, and so, and then as a result, we can't see the good things about other people in our culture. So there's no charity. There's no charity. Why, why, I, why would I love if that's all I'm seeing is, right, is, is exactly. present to my And then you're also seeing that in relationship to the church. The same thing's happening in relationship to the church where they're becoming so negative and so, so um, and, and, and I get the fact that people are suffering in relationship yeah. to these things. But that actually goes back again to virtue and vice. So as I mentioned, Aristotle says, if you perform an action that's in accord with virtue, you get a delight out of that action. Mm. If you get to the point where you have mastered the virtue of courage and mastered the virtue of suffering well, which is the virtue of mortification, you've mastered that virtue, you actually get a delight mm. in suffering. Mm. That's why the saints had this delight in suffering because wow. they could actually... That because in it they know they're achieving the good and it's in accord with virtue. It's when it's not in accord with virtue that it's painful, right? Oh, yeah. And so, but what's happening is is that if if he can get you to be constantly focused on this negativity, you're never going to suffer well, mm. and as a result, you're just going to be miserable, which is exactly what they want because they don't want us to be happy. Oh. Did you like that clip? Be sure to click subscribe so you never miss out on our great content that's going to help you live life to the full.